starting to get some good views now from the International Space Station. We should be able to maintain these views throughout the duration of our pass over Hurricane Dorian. Again, the space station 262 statute miles over the Midwest right now. We are expected to see the hurricane in just about uh, two minutes or so from now. Some of the latest status reports of Hurricane Dorian itself can be found at the National Hurricane Center. Head over to hurricanes.gov, that's hurricanes plural, to find out the latest uh, updates on the hurricane. The latest ones we are tracking now are from 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 Central. At that time, the National Hurricane Center reported Hurricane Dorian as a Category 2, maxing out at speeds. Uh, wind speeds of about 110 miles per hour. This is just shy of a Category 3 hurricane. Again, the hurricane itself, 255 miles east of the Bahamas now. Hurricane itself traveling at about 10 miles per hour, pretty slow, but on a northwestern track to make landfall uh, with the United States, specifically the coast of Florida, as predictions show uh, now. That landfall expected uh, sometime over the evening of Monday night Labor Day into the early morning of Tuesday. Again, these reports from 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, 10 Central. Predictions now expect Hurricane Dorian to become a major hurricane later today and uh, will expect it to become very dangerous throughout this weekend. Again, landfall right now is predicted to be late on Labor Day Monday or early Tuesday. It will likely be over Florida as a what's uh, now predicted to be a Category 4 hurricane where winds can max out at about 140 miles per hour. Hurricane force winds are also expected to affect the Bahamas, as well as heavy rains over the Bahamas, Florida, and elsewhere in the southeastern United States this week through the middle of next week. Again, we're coming to you live from the International Space Station. These views from the external high-definition cameras, Space Station itself, 262 statute miles, uh, just about to cross over the southeast United States, over the states of uh, Georgia and Alabama, crossing over the, west, the eastern coast of Georgia and heading over the Atlantic Ocean, where we'll be soon seeing Hurricane Dorian. crew aboard the International Space Station ending their days a bit early, uh, headed for an extended weekend off after supporting uh, the rendezvous of the Soyuz MS-14 and some of the other dynamic operations that have occurred over the last week. Some of those astronauts in free time, some of them exercising. Some of them may be in the cupola, which is the bay window on the uh, Earth-facing side of the International Space Station. From the cupola, they'll have great views of Hurricane Dorian, which seems to be poking into view right now. You can follow these astronauts on Twitter, Drew Morgan, Nick Haig, and Christina Cook. Maybe tweeting pictures uh, over the weekend as they get good passes of Hurricane Dorian. International Space Station 262 statute miles over the east coast of Georgia now about to pass over the Atlantic Ocean. The space station itself traveling at 17,500 miles per hour. From some of these views, you can see the Bahamas. Again, the Bahamas are expected to be affected by Hurricane Dorian uh, over the weekend. And predictions now uh, estimate a landfall uh, Monday night. Space Station now just east over the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida. We're seeing some, uh, some of the eye from some of the high definition cameras on the outside of the Space Station, the Eye of Dorian. 
Again, the space station currently tracking west of the storm. Updates from just about an hour and 20 minutes ago from the National Hurricane Center reported uh, Durian as a Category 2 hurricane. It's expected to increase in force uh, throughout these next few days before it makes landfall. The eye of Dorian very clear from this view. Space Station 261 statute miles just east off the coast of some of the northern islands of the Bahamas. The formation of the eye of the Category 2 Hurricane Dorian becoming very clear. Moscow, this is Alexander on Space to Ground 2. How do you read me? Read you loud and clear, Alexander and Space to Ground. The space station 261 statute miles just east off the coast of some of the central islands of the Bahamas now passing almost directly over the eye of the Category 2 Dorian Hurricane. Again, reports from the National Hurricane Center reported Hurricane Dorian as a Category 2 from 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 Central. Speeds maxing out at about 110 miles an hour. Again, Dorian uh, traveling at a northwest track at about 10 miles per hour. Predictions now put it at landfall over the eastern coast of Florida sometime late Monday, Labor Day night into early Tuesday. International Space Station now passing south over Hurricane Dorian, 261 statute miles right over the Turks and Caicos Islands. Again, from that vantage point of about 261 statute miles from the International Space Station, uh, astronauts on board can see just about a thousand miles in any given direction from end to end about a 2,000 mile spread from that vantage point 260 miles up Again, these views are live. The International Space Station, 261 statute miles over the eastern coast of the Dominican Republic right now, traveling 17,500 miles per hour just south of the storm, Hurricane Dorian. Again, the storm itself on a northwest track traveling right now uh, reported uh, at 10 central, 11 eastern, traveling at a northwest track at 10 miles per hour. That expected to build in terms of intensity and make landfall late um, Monday night, Labor Day night. National Hurricane Centers report that it might be too soon to determine just how strong this hurricane will get, but predictions put it at about a hurricane, a Category 4 hurricane at the time of landfall. Again, these are early predictions and these reports from just about an hour and a half ago.
Space Station itself continuing on a southeasterly track, just north off the coast of Venezuela, passing west uh, from the island of St. Lucia. Still getting some views of the massive storm that's 255 miles east of the islands of the Bahamas. Again, the cameras themselves being controlled by flight controllers here in Mission Control Houston. Views of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico coming into view now. Space Station itself, 261 statute miles on a southeasterly track just south of, co south of the coast of Grenada. Space Station 261 statute miles right over the northern coast of Venezuela.